Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to review 7111, the Droid Fighter set from 1999, and this set, actually, I have over here used, but this set right here is actually a sealed set. As you can see, it, shake it, still has bricks in it, and it says right here that it was originally six dollars then it was 350 and the seller must have got it for a dollar and 44 i paid twenty dollars for the set which is good but the box isn't in the best condition i mean i don't the best part is probably this side but even then there's like you can move it and stuff it's really old and basically i'll just move over the set and I'll put this set in the background. So, what's cool about this one is it's probably the most accurate 1999 set. And that's not really saying a lot because the 1999 sets, it's not that they're bad. It's just they're not accurate uh, at all. Because back then, I mean, they didn't really have all the pieces that they use today. Like, I just got done reviewing the 2014 Canon. And that set is way more accurate compared to a 1999 set that was made in 1999. This is one of the first ever Star Wars sets. So what I'm actually doing right now while talking is I'm moving this thing to this position. And what they actually show in the instructions, what's cool about it, is they show how you can make it into right here how to make it into that and so you may think right here that like this is the fighting position and I actually moved these things over because I did and then you move that like that and then boom it's like walking and I believe they used this one in the Lego Star Wars game the complete saga too so the first one in the complete saga so it's it's a cool set you can't the problem is is unless you just have it on a flat surface like over here you can barely see it in frame but it, i'm just on a base plate right here but if you have it on studs unless you make sure it's completely on studs you're not gonna have it like stay completely up it can stay on three legs that's cool but i don't know if a droid is actually supposed to be piling it you cannot have a droid fit in here that's it's impossible because this only problem with this set is that it just pops off and it's okay now because like if i probably open this set up this thing ain't this thing ain't falling off because it's just old i mean i don't know how old this is i mean it's probably not like it probably wasn't built in 1999 but like it just fell over too so if you want to make it actually into its flying position and what's kind of crazy about this set is that in the box it's actually in the wrong flying position it's not supposed to be like this while flying to see the prints but i don't know if they were doing that to advertise there's a lot of prints in the set there's one print right here um these are separate pieces so one two and then three then four and then this is a print too so five there's five prints and i think there's only five but that's still a lot so i don't know if they were trying to advertise that but you can see when it's landed that's supposed to look like this not this so they had it right in the side box art if you look right here but they did not have it correct with this just kind of a shame but it's actually kind of crazy how lego used to like mess, mess up like that badly and they haven't really done it anymore like the actual design of it They've done, most recently, the Re UCS Republic gunship is the wrong logo for, like, the Republic. It's, like, the um, Imperial or whatever. So, what's actually supposed to be instead of this, you just move these. They're easy to pop off. 
and then you put it up like that and then you move this up like that as well and then you move that and, that, and then you got the set, and it's pretty cool. It flies around, but you got to make sure that this thing doesn't fall off. Because, like I said, if I open this up, this it, this isn't falling off. But, like, if you're trying to fly with this thing, and, like, you're just flying, and then all of a sudden you want to use it like that, it falls off. Especially if this thing is probably 21 years old or 22 whenever this person built it. So it's swooshable. I suggest hanging it from here, like, because they have like a little spot and I think that's where you, you're supposed to hold it. Cause if you hold it like by the wings, it kind of, you can like, uh, it's not really moving that much, but they're, I bet if I had the new one, they would move more. But like, if you move it by that, it kind of shakes and stuff, but makes that noise so I think you're supposed to hold it like this still makes that noise because of the head the head's not at all secured well because it's secured by this one thing so it's a pretty cool set they have no other advertisements on the set they have this random red thing see it's from 1999 7111 and I'm, I didn't know that but they had lego.com back in the day. I don't know how well lego.com was since it was 1999. I thought it was okay, but probably wasn't the best. I mean, if this set was made in the 80s, then they wouldn't have lego.com. The oldest set that I have, like non-Star Wars wise, is probably 1998 or 1997. But besides that, this is one of my oldest. I also have Anakin's Pod Racer, but that's not complete complete, so I can't do a review on that. And then I have the 2001 ATST, which I'll do a separate review of that, and then a comparison, which the set review is gonna be in the next video. So. I'll see you guys in the next video, and the next video I'll make is the ATST.